Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. Last time I was out here on Lake St. Clair, I was out with Chanel and now we got her boyfriend out here with us, Brett from West Virginia. And we've got Steve with us today from Bouchard Gardens. Hey, when you're not planting right. the flowers and the vegetables, you're out here on the boat fishing. Out with these. So we're out here on Lake St. Clair. And uh, what we're looking for today, folks, we're looking for muskies. This is one of the prime areas for muskies here in Ontario. And we're hoping to get into some today. So stay tuned, folks. We're hoping to have a great show. Yeah, Steve, oh, Mr. Muskie. Like well, you oh. never know. Just take your time. Let me grab the net. All right. Oh, I don't know. Hey. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that wasn't good. Steve made me do all this line now, so I gotta. Bring him in, Steve. Bring him in. Bring him in now. Right. No, take your time. Take your time. Oh, no, you know what? You, you have a good muskie on there. Oh, and oh. We got Bouchard Garden strikes first here, folks. Oh. Hey. Think it can work. Look at that. Oh, he's peeling drag. Let him peel. Oh yeah, look at him peel drag. See him pull? When he pulls, Steve, let him pull. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let him let him pull. <laughs> just make sure you always keep your line tight though. If he swims towards the boat, just keep your line tight. Oh there he is there. Easy, easy. Oh nice. There we go. Oh Sorry about that, Steve. There you go. Easy, easy. Oh he just come off. Just come off. Okay. Down? That's okay. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's get him. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. I got him, Steve. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. There we go. Hey, Steve. There's your Lake St. Clair muskie right there. It's not a big one. <laughs> But that's pretty nice. That's decent. He gave you a good fight. Oh, he, yeah. Hey, he was, uh, he's a goodie. Eh? What do you think, Brett? That's nice. West good Virginia good style. Oh yeah. yeah. There you go. Hey, right, here we go. All right. All right, let's get him back in. We don't want to keep him out long. Okay. Cool. Look at that. Eh? Oh, away he goes. Hey, huh? They're <laughs> really slimy though. Oh, you they, got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I gotta right. see if we get a rag. Well, we only got one. There you go. Now, now you. That's a smaller muskie, and I gotta tell you, folks. I said to Steve, once you start eating, it's only 9:30 in the morning. Yeah. He wanted to have a sandwich, and here you go. Go ahead. Here's my sandwich. Here's my sandwich. I said, as soon as you start eating, you're gonna catch a fish. <laughs> Perfect. We're gonna keep going one. at it here now. Uh, that one, all we're doing. And he came off right in the net. Just running a crankbait here. And, oh, if I can get it out of the net, it's just a perch colored crankbait because those muskies will be feeding on, uh, on perch. So just a little crankbait. And uh, when you're running for muskies, a lot of people run big, big baits. Big baits, big attractor for the muskies, but you don't necessarily have to. They'll hit small baits just as much. The only thing is, with the bigger baits, if they got to take a lot of energy, then they know they got a big meal. But but uh, small baits will catch your big fish as well. <laughs> this is a good one, Brent. I'm glad you got. He's good. Eh? Oh yeah. He's thing. taking drag. I'm glad you. He's taking. I'll tell you. He ain't gonna fit in this net. What are you getting me this for? <laughs> he ain't fit in oh, here. Oh my! You know what? Really we gotta put this motor in neutral. Robert, what do you do? Oh, okay. Just right Snap there. Yeah. Oh man. I told you. I knew right away. Oh, oh, this is a good fish. Yes. Oh, oh I'm glad you got it, Evo. Oh, take that rattle right seat. Oh, what am I going to do with this? What thing? we're doing, we're running here in 13, 14 <coughs> feet of water. And these crankbaits, they're only diving down about six right. feet. So we're down about six feet in about 14 feet of water. And it's doing the. It's, it's working today. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow. Look at him. I'll tell you. He He's, was just taken off, Steve. Did oh, you see that? Yeah, I couldn't. I was yanking on it. <laughs> yeah. Just to give it to you. <laughs> just... Oh, oh wow. yeah. It looks good. I'm, I'm not much. He's about got it. some weight. I don't to know him. much about fishing, but. 
the field. That looks good. Was he ever just taking drag? Just taking it. I let quite a bit out. Eh? Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can get him in. Oh boy. Oh okay. yeah. yeah he's still, oh, he's still, he's still going at it. <laughs> he's still taking drag. Okay. Uh, I'm glad you're doing this. Oh, oh, look is. at this. Oh, it's, a, it's a decent fish. He's peeling again. Wow. Folks, this is just unbelievable fishing. This must oh, oh my god! god. Did you see this? <laughs> look at him! He's Brett, got him. Brett, look at this fish! Oh, oh man! Oh, 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 oh. He's peeling drag! He's, evil. he's peeling drag again! Oh. I don't think we're gonna that net's gonna we do gonna it. Are we gonna get him in? Yeah! We're gonna try, right? Might have to tail him. Holy Jesus! Huge, man. Brett, oh, look yes. at this! Look at this! Oh, oh, oh. Luckily, I got that steel wire leaner on. Oh, oh man, this is what it's all about. He's peeling. He's oh still... no, he's got. He's taking off. On again? Oh, he's got. This is a nice fish. There he is. Oh, I don't think he's gonna fit in the net, Steve. There's no way. No, this look fish is huge. I'll take a look at him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> take a look at him. Look at this. Size. Here, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tail him. Okay. You take the rod. You got it. That little net just isn't, don't, don't grab the line though. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this fish. Oh, what a He's dandy. not good. Oh, easy, Steve, easy, easy. No, I'm trying to. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Got it again? Got it again? Okay, let's see if I can get it. Nice and easy. Got it again. Oh, wow. Look at that evil. He's the good. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah! Oh, Look at that! Oh, oh, oh. That's the good. Oh, there we go, oh, folks. Oh my God! Oh, the musky. Hey. <laughs> Steve, can you can you hold you, that? Hang on. Yeah. Hold oh, that. Oh yeah. There's a musky, Brett. The what do you think, Look, Brett? Get your hand on him, Rick. Oh, hey. Oh, that thing's what a beautiful hey. musky oh, there, folks. That, okay, you got it. Let's get him back in the water. Okay. One last look at this huge musky. Hey. Okay. Oh. Hey. He's pretty big. You ready? Set. Goodbye, musky. Folks, that was a riot. And as you can see, you don't need big, huge baits to catch those musky. Hey. All we're using are little crankbaits like so. And that's doing the trick right there. Oh Nothing real God. big. You don't need those big, huge baits, Britt. That mouth was huge. Was the size of that bait. <laughs> Where, how he stayed on that little hook. Isn't that something? Oh my gosh. That was absolutely exciting. <laughs> that, was... that, folks, is what Lake St. Clair musky fishing is all about right there. Wow. Right? <laughs> all right. There you go. That's it. Just like that. And keep the pressure on your line. That's it. What you do is pull back, pull back, pull back, and then reel. Is this strong? A strong? Big one? <laughs> That's great. So all we're doing, folks, we're just flatlining. That's all we're doing. Running those perch light crankbaits. And uh, this is Britt's first one here. Okay, all the way from West Virginia. Eh? Professional. Professional, that's it. Okay. And we have a steel wire leader. I've got a steel wire leader on of about uh, eight, nine inches to make sure we don't get cut off. <laughs> He's giving a good tug. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, let him. Oh, here he is here. Here he is here. Oh, Britt. Okay. Right in the net here, Britt. Oh, oh. Look at this. Oh, man. Look at this. He's so big he broke the net. <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay, don't don't do it anymore. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. There we go, Brick. Come on over here. Come on over here. Look at that musky there. Look at this. He broke the net. There you go. You want to let him go? Can you handle him? No. Okay. There's a nice musky right there. There you go, Brett. All right. 
Hey, hey, so Chanel, hey, Chanel, eat your heart. There you go, yeah, Chanel never got no musky yeah, when she was here. But we don't want to keep him out long, okay? We got to get these guys back in. All right. Let's get him back in the water. Now, oh, Brett. The way he goes. Brett, you and did, you're missing out on all the slime. Uh, you didn't, <laughs> that's yeah. okay. Hey? He didn't have that thing back in there 30, 30 seconds. seconds. Hey? Boom. Brett just breaks. took a little uh, washroom break. <laughs> he came back in, got his line wet, and whammo. Bang. Well, was. I got to tell you, folks, this is great fishing. If you get a chance, come out to Lake St. Clair. All we're doing is flat lining. Get yourself a wire leader, of course, because these muskie got a lot of teeth. A little crankbait, that's all you need. We're trolling at about three to three and a half miles per hour. And, uh, and away we go, just covering ground, catching fish, and having a great time. Britt, I'm glad you could join us today, out from West Virginia. Steve from Bouchard Gardens, you ever get a chance, make your way out to Windsor at the Amherstburg Market, Windsor Market. Go visit Steve, he's got all those fresh Ontario vegetables. And once in a while he gets out on the water. Glad you could join us folks, we're having a great day out here. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing. And I need a new net. <laughs>